When I'm preparing for a class like the AACD or another hands-on class that I have, I really appreciate the companies that I work with that have great products. You have Avaclare, particularly with their Emacs and their aesthetic zirconia, like Prime Aesthetic. And we have Jensen with their Mio products that enhance the surfaces of our restorations. And then also Meisinger with their Burr kits and their support that they have provided for years. Most of this is done up at my homestead at my digital studio. I just love working on cases there and then taking a break and going out and playing with the dogs particularly during an oven break. And then we'll go back in and do some more projects. But one thing that's important to me is the quality of a class that will simulate a real situation when we're back at the office, such as this case, we're doing a B1 prime aesthetic modification as if it were coming back from a lab or you're using a chair side. I've been fortunate to have a great relationship with Avaclare. They're so generous in providing products for their teaching. Here we're gonna use the IPS Emax, the Prime Aesthetic. This is a zirconia layered, and it has an RFID reader label on it, which provides an efficient registering of that disc within the CAM software for the PM7. By simply placing the disc with the RFID reading strip, Onto the RFID reader, it will automatically initiate the CAM software to read that disk. And then once that disk is read, it's in the CAM software, we can retrieve it later on. Importing a digital file, an STL from one of your design softwares, here we use ExoCAD. We import that into the system, double click on that icon, and we just walk through the menu there at the top of the screen. We're gonna register with the patient name and the customer that is required to do in the software. Once we have that accomplished, we're gonna save. And now we're ready to fully register as Zirconia. Under object type, we're gonna choose the crown with fissure. That will provide excellent milk. Clear down to the 0.5 burr, which results in really detailed anatomy, particularly on the occlusal surface you will find that the program mill CAM software for the Avicar milling units is fairly automated, even though there's a lot of options that you can tweak. If you set the case up well in the design software, there's not a lot to do outside of placing that in the disk. To send off to your disk, click on nesting. You will see the portfolio of disks that are available. Click on the disk that you want. It automatically will populate that disk. Then we place the holding bars by clicking on zones that won't be in contact. When you're done with the holding bar placement, click on the disk and it will activate to the next step. And also with a multi-layered disk like this, we can move it particularly more aesthetically. We want to move that to the top of the block, which will provide more translucency. Once we have that completed, we'll go ahead and click on the open path calculation and that will render this restoration ready for milling. So once we're done with this step, we can either start the mill process or we can add some other projects. As you see here, we did quite a bit of milling for the class. To send off to the milling unit, click on NC Manager on the side menu there, and that will open up your next step to send off to the milling unit. Here, we're gonna use single file for all these restorations. That way we'll get multiple mills and we can do this overnight since we did mill out over 30. Or you have the other for split output and that's when you wanna mill one restoration selectively at a time. Placing the disc in the disc holder is quite simple. It does need to be stabilized. So we wanna place it so the RFID reader is there at the end of the holder so it can be read once it's placed into the milling unit. And then we place on the outer ring and then screw in the screws, there's four of them. When I'm screwing these in, I'm careful about not over torquing one side sooner than the other. On zirconia, sometimes that can chip the outer edge of the disc. To start with, get the screws down, and I will go across the disc holder as I tighten them down. Get all of the screws fairly snug, then go back and do the final torquing at 0.45.
Newton centimeters for zirconia. Now we're ready to take the disc and disc holder and insert that into the material changer. The PM7 has eight slots, so you can do a lot of milling overnight. Once inserted, the RFID reader in the PM7 will read and register that disc, and then we're ready to start. Click on automatic mode, and away we go with the milling. In this case, we milled out over 32 restorations, and that happened overnight while I was sleeping away out of my homestead. The next morning, a successful mill was confirmed. The next step was to process the zirconia and you can see the mill is just excellent using the refined mill process they're impeccable, the anatomy is there. There's not a lot of finishing that we need to do at this step. We're gonna go ahead and place those restorations in the Programat S2. We're using a zirconia centering cycle to optimize the prime aesthetic. Tear side with the prime, we can do this in 15 minutes. In the CS6, a longer cycle here will optimize the aesthetics. Then we're gonna go ahead and for the class, we want to simulate the reality of getting a restoration back from the lab. So we're adding glaze. This is a meal glaze and the technique that we use. I love doing this, even though we did multiple restorations like this, this is how I prepare for my classes. I feel so blessed that I have a digital studio at my homestead where I can have a peaceful environment and just take my time efficiently creating restorations for classes that will make a difference in other people's lives. When adding glaze to the occlusal surface, we're gonna to add to the triangular ridges, marginal ridge, but stay out of the central groove. We don't want that glaze to puddle in that area and then come back and just add pure color in the central groove. Here we're using Clementine. That's a really nice color to add a dentinal glow and now we're ready to fire the restoration. So we did multiple restoration firing in the Programmat P510. And voila, there we are, ready to go. Our objective for this class at the AACD is to simulate a restoration that's coming back from the lab using Mio chair side to modify to get a better blend. And that's what I like to do in all my classes is create a reality to raise the bar with the workflow and the techniques and the support that we have to really do a good job and perfect our skills. And that's what drives me. I actually find it a lot of fun preparing for classes that I teach, particularly the AACD. If you haven't been there, it's the pinnacle in my journey of learning and growing through the years. I've been a member since 1996, and I look forward to the conventions every year. It's helped me project and traject my journey in dentistry, and I always like going there and to be able to teach there and share information and I learn as well there. I take classes. It's been incredible. I want to thank again the sponsors that we had for teaching there, Ivy Claire, Jensen, and also my singer. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. And if you haven't been to the AACD before, I would suggest you go to AACD.com and look for the convention next year. I believe it's going to be down in Miami. It's always a good time. There's a lot of good energy. And I met a lot of you folks here on YouTube that came from all over the world, Saudi Arabia and India and other places. You were there, you came up and you said hi, and you follow me on this YouTube channel. I do a lot more teaching on my online site at thecliminstitute.com. And that's what I'd love to do out here at my clinical theater, particularly with the PM7. 
opening up with DS Core using my Prime Scan into other softwares allows a lot of freedom in what I do, and that's what this channel is going to be about in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you folks in that next video. Bye now.